Uh, how do we feel about gambling on Twitch, guys? I wanted to ask everyone about this because it's clearly a big thing right now. Gambling on Twitch is a huge f***ing issue, and I don't know what the f*** happened outside of evidently some dude scammed a bunch of people out of money by asking them to help them pay his taxes and shit or something like that? I don't know. The Slicker Immortal, is that what it is, Zygmundus? I mean, I've heard about this guy. There have been other people speaking out about it. Uh, now a bunch of the big Twitch streamers are like, get rid of gambling on Twitch, it's the devil, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I don't know, man. I don't know if it's really necessarily the person who did the scamming's fault when it comes down to it. If a fool and their money are soon parted, right? I don't, I think it's about actual gambling, Mono, because you know you have a lot of people who are playing like points and shit. That doesn't sound like gambling, that sounds like scamming. Well, evidently the guy is scamming people out of money so he can continue to gamble, Roasted. Which, I'm over here like, if you know somebody is a known gambler, why the fuck? If they say that they need money to pay their taxes as a known gambler, I'm just over here like... That sounds like bullshit. I'm not gonna give them money. Slicker stole 300k to streamer and viewers for gambling, Zig. Moist Critical has a video about it, Deads. What did he say? He got cold hard cash off of motherfuckers? Moist also does have a fucking video about everything. Netherman is right. <laughs> Chad, a princess needs a help to get his money. Yeah, exactly. A, a prince needs help for his... Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Bullshit with extra steps. I just... I, like, I'm over here and... I, I mean, gambling is a real addiction, right? I don't think anyone's going to dispute that. Should gambling be a part of the Twitch platform? I don't know. What do you guys think? Should people be able to live stream gambling? Can live stream damn near everything else. I don't really see why it's a problem. That still isn't gambling on Twitch, right? So I'm confused as to why they want to remove gambling from Twitch. I didn't know there was gambling. So yeah, I mean, uh, people are legitimately gambling, whether it's the slot things or other things like that, right, Mono? So I'll just drop my PayPal here if anyone wants to throw money at it. <laughs> just go ahead and start chucking me money, right? I can totally get it on that one, Bay. Netherman, now nah, what? You don't think it should be a part of the, the platform? I am I am decidedly neutral on this subject. Benito, you are also a fucking moron. <laughs> I would share a meal with him any day. Literally haven't heard from him since. I mean, see, that's... When people do that, Sangu, it's, it's an immediate red flag for me. Give me money. Come on, man. I need money for taxes, too. Totally not going to use it for other things like travel. <laughs> exactly, right, Roasted? <laughs> XQC is a big name in that zone. I think XQC is a big name in that zone, Deads. Uh, evidently, him and Pokimane and a bunch of other people have come out and just be like, Twitch needs to ban gambling on the platform now. I'm just kind of like, why? Why? I mean, people have made the argument that it hurts the platform. People have made the argument that it may hurt their bottom line. I want to know how. I want to know exactly in no uncertain terms how it does that. They've had poker streams for ages. That and scam artists are separate things. Sounds like more overreaction bullshit. I think it's just because some big streamers got scammed out of their money, gambler. I'm going to call a spade a spade. I think it's just because some big streamers got scammed out of their fucking money. I mean, yeah, this person scammed some other people out of their money as well, like cancer patients and shit. But again, why are you giving somebody... Who, I, I just... I'm trying to wrap my head around the logical, like, loops. And does it all come down to parasocial relationships and feeling like you're getting pressured into giving someone money in good faith because they may actually need it for something? I don't know. I think slots are the real problem. In what way do you think they're the real problem, Carrot? Again, I am decidedly neutral. I have I really don't have much of an opinion on this, Carrot. <clears throat> um, but I'm curious as to why folks think that it's the problem with slots or things like that and people not actually... Uh, I don't know. Maybe considering what's going on a little bit more. Be witty, what's up? Doing all right, Woody. It's a good Monday. How are you? Isn't Trainrex also doing that for a long time? Yeah, Trainrex actually has a really big uh, Twitter post about it right now as well, which I'll actually bring up. I actually saw that. Uh, I saw that today after his response to somebody, and he was, uh, all right, here we go. I love that he called people clout goblins. That's actually really funny. To be clear, the people scapegoating slots, uh, Black Jet and Roulette, uh, are blaming the and not blaming the individual. The real problem on top of that, Slicker was a sports betting addict, the one type of gambling that is normalized, and I don't want to hear a single one of you clout goblins fucking talking about. So, I mean, that's true, too. Like, evidently, Slicker, whoever this guy was, is a huge uh, sports betting addict. And that's where he does most of his gambling, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> 
crucify that person who's the scam artist throwing it onto the entire Gamba system. I mean, if they get rid of gambling on Twitch, they got to get rid of the point system, right, Gambler? There's no way we can do channel point predictions anymore because that's technically gambling. New Monarchy, what's up? How you doing, Monarchy? It's good to see you. The issue is the predatory nature of the internet. Don't really matter if it's via gambling. See, I, I mean, that's... I'm with you on that one, Sangu. Because the internet is just predatory across the board, right? Like, it, it just is in its nature. Like, there are a lot of people on the internet who are constantly trying to work other people over for their money and trying to get what they, you know, would be an easy, an easy mark. <clears throat> but I genuinely believe that slots gambling on Twitch has a terrible effect on the large underage Twitch audience. Slots are the most addicting form of gambling. Oh, I don't, I don't disagree. See, I've never been interested in slots, right, Carrot? Literally no interest. I am curious why people think that it's such an... Uh, how do, why do people think that slots specifically have such a huge effect on the underaged? I'm just, I'm trying to understand how that happens. Like, has it been scientifically, or not science, but has it been uh, shown through some measure of research that people around slots are more prone to become gambling addicts? Is it really mature gated? I mean, that's a good th that's a good question as well because we all know that people get around the mature tag on Twitch quite a bit, right? I mean, I don't think that there's any fucking question about that. People look at the mature tag and they're like, ha, 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 "Mature? What? I'm not 12 years old? Fuck it." OMS is not a fan of uncouth women. <laughs> Papu, what's up? Good to see you, Papu. Do you have any suggestions for uh, quality of life Terraria mods? By the way, quick and easy would be my guess, Deads. I can see that, sure. I've always felt slots resembled other machines and were in similar places arcades. That's why I thought it seemed to attract kids. I mean, that's fair, self. I think that that's a very fair statement. Again, I'm I'm gonna be I'm gonna be very in between this entire thing. I'm not gonna really gravitate one way or the other. I'm going to I'm gonna like I'm certainly gonna use my logic, somewhat logic based brain though, when we're talking about some of this and be like, again, how do you let somebody who is a known gambler? approach you for money and actually give them money in good faith and not expect to never get paid back. I'm just just throwing it out there. How banning all gambling would achieve anything for sure, right, Garrett? <clears throat> but I'm just the the way that the way that the big name streamers are stating it right now, got to get rid of all gambling that you literally you have to get rid of channel point predictions. You do. Like it's no longer a thing that we're going to be able to do. And they are easily noticeable, a simple example. And if you're doing a media thing, it's a good excuse to fill your paper with shiny eye-catching lights. For sure, Sengu. My dad was a bit of a slots addict when I was a kid, so I spent a lot of time near them. Never once made me get into it. Probably the opposite. See, like, I've always kind of felt when Barb, when it comes to a lot of this shit, people who are around it a bunch are probably less likely to do it, especially if they see it, like, really consuming somebody. Many arcades had an 18-plus area with gambling machines, but some didn't. Years back, okay. I don't there I feel like a lot of this is some big fucking time virtue signaling. Am I allowed to say that? Am I allowed to say that and not get in trouble? I'm probably going to get in trouble. But I do genuinely feel like there's a huge amount of virtue signaling going on by a lot of these big name streamers when it comes to this because some of them may potentially have gotten fucked over by it. <laughs> Hopefully in the next year crash. Yeah, gambler, I I just I'm not trying to be a jaded fucking old <laughs> but we all know that I trend to be a, you know, a jaded old and this just feels like, ah, I got fucked, ah, take it away, it's bad for people. I mean, I just, somebody gave him 100k to pay everything off, right? If you know somebody is that addicted to gambling, why the fuck are you lending them money? Like, am I the only one, am I, like, again, I know I'm crazy, I know I'm a fucking weirdo, but am I the only one that's over here like... What do you expect a gambling mon a addict to do with your money if you give it to them? That the dude hasn't even posted gambling r uh, receipts? There's still a chance that this is a fucking Ponzi scheme unless more info came out today. No shit, Carrot. This is not the first time this type of thing has happened. Look at uh, Syndicate Project with the CSGO skin gambling via YouTube. Yeah, who, who was the big streamer that got fucked for that, Blue Boy? There was a... God, what was his name? I feel like I used to follow that guy at one point in time, just like out of curiosity. And I can't remember what his name was, but holy shit, did he get fucking bent over for that. <sighs> yeah, Crash, I'm with you. I didn't realize gambling was allowed. Yeah, I mean, well, Bruin, you can broadcast yourself gambling, right? Like you can broadcast yourself doing slot machines. You can broadcast yourself playing poker. 
or blackjack and shit like that. But there isn't any actual gambling mechanic outside of channel point, right? The channel point predictions, that's technically gambling, right? And again, I don't think that the people who are shouting the loudest about this realize that if you remove one form of gambling, you're probably going to have to remove every form of gambling if you have that big of an issue with it. And that is probably going to include any kind of channel point like prediction, right? Because that's exactly what it is. I don't really agree with blaming the victim of scams. I, yeah, you know, Sylph, I get you on that one. I know what you're talking about. I I know it's a really jaded thing to say, and I understand what you're saying. Um, I do feel bad for people who end up getting that way. I just, I wish it was more of a, like, you should have known better kind of thing. People want to watch other people play the slots. I mean, it happens all the time, Red Sea. Like, there's a, there's a huge fucking, uh, there's a huge directory here on Twitch with it. Catacor and I aren't gamblers at all, so we're rather meh about the whole thing. But I think like a lo like loot boxes, casinos, this would cause far more problems to promote. Okay, I get you on that one, Vampire. I think my more of like this kind of scam where you're just getting directly scammed out of money because someone wants to borrow it. There's something about that for whatever reason. Just it, Especially because a lot of these are parasocial relationships, right? Like a lot of these people who are loaning this person money only know them through the internet. And that just seems like it. That seems like crazy sauce to me. If they remove all gambling, do we go to Denmark route and ban all gotcha games, loot boxes? I, it, I mean, Lord Ascension, marbles on stream could also be considered gambling. Scammed. It's usually your fault. You need to stay savvy. I mean, unfortunately, count. I, I tend to agree with that as well. Like you, you have to stay on top of shit. Unfortunately, Twitch themselves promotes games that have loot boxes, etc. They going forego that income all of a sudden? Exactly, right? Gambling. That's why I don't see Twitch doing anything about it. I'm I'm more taking to task the people who are like really screaming from the mountaintops, all gambling has to go. Yeah, targeting the elderly is fucked up, monkey, for sure. I, I completely agree. Schadenfreude factor to it. People love to see others fuck up. Losing a shit ton of actual money to gambling is about the apex of fucking up. FBI's number one uh, most wanted is a lady who did a fake... Bitcoin, she made $4 billion. No shit, Actino. I had no idea that was the case. Trying to get money right after the other guy told him he was 16. 99% chance Twitch doesn't give a single shit. Yeah, I, I agree. I don't think Twitch gives a fuck. Watching people gamble helps scratch the itch without partaking in gambling yourself, Sammy. On this scam is that this wasn't the illusion of an investment. It was just lend me a few money. See, and that's... I think that's where I'm having the disconnect, Bay. Where... This isn't necessarily a scam because, hey, I'm going to provide you with X if you give me X. This is just literally somebody saying, give me money, right? Just give me money. Just give me money. Gambling is everywhere you look. See, I, I, that's where I'm at as well, Rufy. Like, the, the essence of gambling in our every... You can almost find it anywhere in your everyday life. The actual essence of gambling, no matter what. Like, you, you go somewhere, you're going to see some kind of gambling occurring. Unless you're really shut off. Or just really lucky and you're not going to see it. Chat, give me money. Exactly, right? I mean, at least when I'm like, hey, guys, I'm going to, you know, like, uh, I'm going to incentivize you guys, like, throwing tips at me. Or I'm going to incentivize. I mean, hell. I, all right, let's be 100% honest. I do the game key giveaways for your guys' support, right? That's technically gambling, right? Like, if, if somebody is going into it with the mind of, I am not supporting the streamer because I want to support the streamer because I enjoy what they do and the content they provide and the entertainment they bring me. But I want to do this just so I can have a shot at a free X. Technically gambling, right? Would they come after me for that? I mean, they could come after me for that. I gamble each time I turn on my car. <laughs> the stock market and crypto are legitimized gambling too. Gambler is not wrong. Gambler is not wrong to a degree, guys. Used to be rich, then I met some old man from Ohio and his pets were cute. So now I'm selling cocaine to support them. If you're willing to take that step to support me, Sangu, who am I to say no? Keep getting ads from the law firm of Dewey, Cheatham, and Howe. <laughs> they are the Dewey, Cheatham, and Howe. <laughs> I just saw this, but why is this a thing? Jews for Hitler? I don't even know if I want to click on it, chat. I. What? Just what? Once a week, Queen Dildo is trending in Canada. Wait, <laughs> oh, I got to pay my taxes. <laughs> I 
<laughs> which I still find funny as hell. I got to pay my taxes. Lend me $100,000. No. Make it to where you want people to stay out of the 18 plus streams that involve nudity, gambling, excessive content. I mean, it, it, that would be one way to do it, Elrethian. Uh, I, I think a lot of people have talked about that being a thing before where a better verification process for age would be really good for the site because then you wouldn't have people getting around the mature shit. I don't think they're ever going to do it. It might take too much to do it. It would be one way to go about it, though. Taxes with those gambling losses. <laughs> <laughs> predicted on him having trouble with his bank with bills to be paid as well as stating as he's uh, reached out to other people that wouldn't hear him out. He was trying to garner sympathy and expressly stated that it was a personal problem, making the incidences isolated. Almost impossible to connect the dots. It was the only one he started to ask his viewers for money light. I gotcha. I mean, that makes sense too. Like, why? Like, if I ever started asking you guys for money, I would expect a round go fuck yourself, dude. Go get it. Like, go get another job. Because I, I understand what I'm doing here is not a, a set in stone thing. If I started directly asking you guys for money, I would I would really expect a, a great big this. <laughs> Twitch will solve the gambling scams at the same speed MMOs fix the bot resource farming armies. They won't. Or at least they won't until it affects their profit margins. For sure. It's not until then. I guess here's a here's a deeper thought though, guys. Like to get away from what we're talking about. Here's the pennies you were waiting for with your imaginary watch. Let's watch your imaginary hair grow your bald bastard tomf tom hug. What? What? Elrethian, you're cutting me where I live. Bitching that she had loyal lurkers talking about being clueless about the platform. Oh yeah, for sure, right, gambler? Some people will continue to insist that she did it in jest. I don't think that she did. See you in 30, Crone. I've seen people hold their streams hostage until they get some amount, chat another 20, and we'll go on to the next part. Wow, that... I just... I can't be, Like... I want to actually get back to that, Roasted. I, I want to get back to Roasted's comment, everybody, here in a second, because I'm, I'm going to be genuinely curious to... We're, we're definitely going to talk about that, because I'm, I'm curious about that. Um, otherwise, what I was going to say is... There are people, and by the there are people, I mean these big-time streamers who are like, doesn't Twitch realize they're losing money by allowing gambling, blah, blah, blah? How are they losing money? I am genuinely ignorant about what they're talking about, or are they talking out of their assholes? Because until Twitch... Twitch has never been interested in doing anything with gambling, right? Like, they don't... Like, it's part of their platform, they, they clearly don't care if it's going on, whatever. How is it... How is allowing the gambling to continue going to affect them outside of these big time streamers who are like, you know, what, we're not going to run ads during the holidays when it's peak ad season and you guys are going to lose a bunch of money. That That's literally the only way it's going to happen, right? So it's basically the only way Twitch is losing money is that the streamers are going to strong arm them. But are, is Twitch actually going to care? Are they taking straight from their ass. Yeah, that's why I'm like, I, I got like, this is a legitimate question. And I'm glad Wicked, thank you very I feel like they're talking directly out of their assholes. Like, oh yeah, Twitch is losing money by allowing this gambling to go on. How? How? Like, how? Seeing people lose their shit via gambling should be almost educational. I mean, it, it, it's a, a, a good case study, right? If you look at it, gambler, you're like, this is what happens if you start gambling irresponsibly. In a wind turbine. Oh, no shit, Bruin. Customer? <laughs> yeah, that, that's fair, Self. I'm just here to throw quarters at OMS. Nashik, how did you know uh, that was what happened in my stripping days? If Twitch is losing money from it going on, they would have done something about it, right, Wicked? Twitch is raking in money by all those ads playing from gambling watchers. They really are. Exactly, right, Nashik? Tread lightly or you might regret it. Okay, I, I know that I think we're, we're allowed to watch this, right? So hold on. Hold on. Yo, Typhoon, what's up, baby? Um... I hope you don't hate me on this. It's so cringe, and I'm cringe for asking my brother, please do not hate me. Please, keep it personal as well. Basically, Hi, Bev. Um, my bank account got locked. This has happened for like three, four days. I've been asking around people. Sadly, um, today, well, tomorrow is the last day um, until my credit starts getting fucked up. It got locked out, and I was looking for people that actually work and 
that could I and I could ask if I could borrow from and I'll pay back genuinely. Give me two months and I can pay back. If you can't, no worries, my brother. If you can, but please, um, don't feel forced to say yes. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, I couldn't get in the call to do this. It's so I'm, I feel genuinely embarrassed. I've asked a few streamers; they couldn't help, and yeah, I don't mind it. It's okay. Um, so I just went out, asked a few subs I've noticed, and yeah. And that's why I also asked for your age, because I don't... Seems pretty bad. <laughs> Seems pretty bad. Keep his personal, basically my bank got locked, I need my money in my PayPal. For some reason, my bill is possible to ask. I'll pay it back. Now you might like why you're asking me. I've asked a few of my subs, bro. I've asked a couple of people, including streamers, but they didn't want to help me. And I give these... Yeah, it's crazy, man. Crazy Buckeye. When they complain about gambling is losing Twitch viewers, what they mean is I'm losing viewers to the gambling potentially. I don't like it, so I must make it huge. Twitch is going to die. Social issue. His mods went live an hour ago and played a video that was several of those spliced together. Really, Buckeye? If a bunch of other people couldn't help, do not give that person money. Gwen, what's up? <laughs> We're supposed to be able to... Were we supposed to be able to hear that? I mean, it was really quiet, Mono, and I had it turned up as loud as I could. Super quiet, but you can watch it yourself. Yeah, if you guys want to watch it, go ahead and watch it. I was I don't know why, for whatever reason, sometimes when we watch shit, it's so quiet, but it is. If titty streamers and gambling didn't exist, I'd have six viewers instead of five when I stream. Yeah, I mean, it, I, I like what Vampire said about the, the huge streamer saying, well, I'm losing viewers to these gambling, and they're not spending their money on me. That's, that's kind of the energy that I'm getting from it as well. I'm going to be 100% honest. You guys can call me out if you want. But I'm definitely getting the energy that all these big streamers are just pissed off that the people are spending their money elsewhere and not on them when it comes down to this. I mean, they've all been very upfront about dog eat dog and everyone like respecting each other's hustle. I'm gambling stream should go and hello. I mean, I'm like, again, I'm completely indifferent, Vink. I I'm completely and totally indifferent. What What is it about... Uh, for you, Vink, because I know you've been very outspoken about wanting the gambling streams to go. What is your uh, rationale for those gambling streams needing to get the old heave-ho? Because, again, I am completely indifferent on this whole thing. I could care fucking less one way or the other. I gave that douchebag 5k, true story. I stole it all from my wife's boyfriend, so it's Gucci. <laughs> Jesus. But <laughs> Buckeye, that's fucking great. What's a gambling stream, Corpse? Uh, a lot of the times, the gambling streams are people, like, sitting there hitting slot machines constantly. Um, they're basically, like, uh, they're just, they're spending their own money doing slot machines with uh, their chat or their viewers, and that's that from everything I understand. I don't freak with them. I don't really have any interest in them, Corpse. I know some people broadcast themselves playing poker. Some people broadcast themselves playing blackjack. But again, I, I don't, like, I'm, I'm, I have no interest in any of it, so... OMS interviews Vincent Vega about gambling on Between Two Turds. <laughs> that would actually be a great name for a talk show, Dragon, that we could actually do. We just need to get a graphic where I have a turd on this side and a turd on this side and us in the middle. Those streams are shady as fuck. Most platforms don't even allow gambling, and it is a door opener to gambling for tons of people. You're not wrong, Vink. You're, I, I don't think that you're wrong. Other than the only showing the winnings and certainly falsifying the numbers because every casino has to post their win percentages and have to stay within a certain range, Blue. Have issues with the slot machine streams? Okay. Just the slot machine streams, though, Vink? Like, are you okay with people, like, you know, doing the, the blackjack or the poker or anything else? Slots with mooks win? Boy, that would be polarizing. It'll affect FIFA streams, mobile games, most free-to-plays, and all other gotchas, too. I just, that's how I feel, Bay, because we live in a, we live in an era of people having no sense of fucking nuance. People are going to be like, we can't allow gambling, so every other kind of gambling has got to go. And that's where you get into loot boxes. That's where you get into channel point predictions. That's where you get into literally everything else that has anything to do with any type of potential gambling. Because again, people have no sense of nuance. After putting a bit of thought into it on the arguments that the huge streamers are making, those arguments only come across as hypocritical and factually untrue. I get you on that one, Vamp. I bet I can X and stream just cuts to black. <laughs> I would imagine FIFA as in football, Lily. 
They are hypocrites. Hey, watch me gamble to win and lose, but at the same time, do not start gambling. You will lose your money. Yeah, I mean, it, it's not great, Vink. It really isn't. But again, buyer beware. Replace a slot stream with slut stream. Problem fixed. You get a lot of impressionable people who think that they can be as successful at gambling as the streamers and it creates a FOMO mindset. You're not, uh, I completely agree. Like what you and Vink are saying, Buckeye, is very true. It's very true. <clears throat> but again, we have, a, we have a really big thing going on in the world right now with whether or not people, like is that a personal responsibility thing? Is that on the person putting the content out there or is that a personal responsibility thing of other people being uh, more rational with their, their frame of thought? Lack of nuance is how OMS the gets banned from TikTok. The thing in the world, I think, is the inability of the human <laughs> mind to correlate all its contents. Cthulhu, welcome back, dude. It's good to see you. Hope you're doing well, man. Ryogo, a lot of the time these gambling streams are sponsored by the site itself, too. So the streamers aren't really spending their own money. Okay, Ryogo, that's a really good piece of information. That actually skews that argument a little bit differently. Um, if these streamers aren't legitimately losing their own money and they're all working with the site, then that is definitely very, very bad, right? That's really, really, really fucking bad. Getting out of hand, Lily, for sure. Have a real dog in the fight, but it feels a lot like complaining that the liquor store is in the wrong for an alcoholic walking in, buddy. There, there, I think there's definitely a level to that, buddy. Again, I think there's more to it, but I think that there is a level of that. I am no longer a gambling... <laughs> fucking count. In the big picture, the gambling streams hurt Twitch. Ad revenue gets affected because lots of companies don't want to be associated with gambling. And that, in turn, brings in more and more shady people and stuff. Do you think that actually happens, though, Vince? I understand the thought process by it, but I, I don't really see... I can't really see it hurting Twitch right now. If it, Don't you think that if it was hurting them that bad, they'd actually fucking do something about it? Because at this point in time, Twitch is just sitting on there. If they're really losing advertisers to the fact that you can like broadcast gambling on Twitch. Wouldn't have they already done something about that? Kilroy, what's going on? Good to see you. They watched it on TV and they got raked at the local casino. <laughs> Fucking gambler. Streams are sponsored. They must be declared as such per Twitch TOS sword. Okay. I looked at some other clip showing him and asking him to borrow money and people DMs. Holy crap, people. If a streamer DMs you asking to borrow money, that's a red flag period at a certain point. I can't believe these people said yes. See, Mono, I tend to go that route as well. That's that's usually how I start to gravitate when it comes to, um, you know, what, what should you and should you not do in those cases. Look at this through a different lens. The U.S. has legalized gambling nationwide. Those huge streamers have no argument in their favor that will hold up under legal scrutiny. It's already illegal to pay for gambling adverts in the U.S. Case in point, poker stars. Yeah, yeah. I got you on that one, Buckeye. Hey, Ruby, what's up? How you doing, Ruby? How was your weekend? It's good to see you, lady. Really good to see you. I want to get back to Roasted's comment here in a second. To, like, I don't, I don't really know. Like, I, I think Vince may have a point. I think a lot of people may have a point. Maybe they shouldn't have gambling on the site. I feel like if it was really affecting them, they would have already done something about it. I, I, I genuinely feel that they must not be losing that much money at this point in time. I understand where <clears throat> like people who do gambling on this site could actually be setting a bad precedent for other folks because people are impressionable. That's an unfortunate fact. Um, are they going to find it somewhere else anyway, though? Like If they're not going to get it here, are they just going to find it somewhere else? I think that's an honest question to ask. If he took his Twitch earnings and gambled it, that's pretty shitty, but it's his money, right? But asking to borrow money, right, Mono? That's where I'm like, I... Mm -mm, no. Why do you think all the gambling streamers move out of the USA just to stream gamble? Oh, is that what they... Is that what happens, Vince? See, I didn't know that. I didn't realize that's a lot of the case. Um, Trainwrecks is evidently American, and Trainwrecks does a lot of gambling, though, so he's clearly here in the States, right? Um, so I don't know. I genuinely don't. Sports betting is also coming into Twitch. I did hear about that, Vink. I did hear about that. I think that nuance you keep calling on has a dark side in that. It's also an opening for exploitation when audiences are unhealthy, and that's where Vink's concerns find their home. Yeah. Think about how people use their internet fame and influence to victimize fans, but apply that to money. Oh, I'm, you're not wrong, Dragon. I, I'm certainly not going to argue against that. Absolutely not. Worked all weekend, did a clopin, and I died. Uh, clopin blow. Yeah. Ruby Clopin is the worst. Also, speaking of that, guys, we were almost all the way through the bear, and that show is amazing. 
I just like the amount of holy shit I remember living this life for so very long has come screeching back after watching that show. Should be banned and addressed. That's what this is. Don't see it as gambling. It very much is predatory behavior, Bay. He moved to Vancouver just to continue to stream. Oh, did he really, Vink? Okay, I didn't realize that. Good to know. I've unfollowed streamers when they switch to gambling streams. No shit, Bev. Okay, okay. Again, like I said, I, I don't really feel really strongly one way or another about this, guys. Never having been a huge gambler or inclined to it, I, I've never really been like, eh. Like, I like playing poker, but I don't even really play much poker anymore. The thing with gambling and gambling addiction is, is it warps your mind. You literally think you're always one more gamble. Exactly, right, Ruby? I do agree with that, too. Definitely understand that a lot of people get in that trap of just one more, just one more, just one more, right? I'm, I'm going to hit it this time. Like, what are the... I have to hit it this time. <clears throat> just the act of streaming gambling and telling people not to gamble is influencing a lot of people. Oh, yeah, for sure, Vince. I, I, again, no argument on that one. I got so triggered watching the bear, I couldn't do it. Oh, dude, it's... It, it gets me. Like, every episode gets me in some way, Ruby. Nighty, what's up? Good to see you, Nighty. You unfollowed all the gambling streamers, Vince? Were you following quite a few of them? Vink? I didn't really realize. W would you guys have any problem with me, like, clicking on the slot streams really fast? Because I'm, I'm not opening the streams, but looking at the directory. I had no idea they were that big. Just went more under the radar. Also chuckle at the argument that gambling will be the downfall of society, considering that gambling has been part of human society since, well, since we've had societies. Yeah. I, and you're right, Vampire. Gambling has always been a part of uh, human society. I don't think we're ever going to get rid of it. Yeah, I'm watching House of the Dragon, Vince. That's been a lot of fun. House of the Dragon's been really good. Lots of slot streamers. Let's see, bro. Sky, how you doing, buddy? It's good to see you. Good morning. Top four out of five streamers on Twitch stream slots. No shit. So XQC, all of these guys, right? Which one is the one that doesn't stream uh, gambling? Because Trainwrecks gambles, I know XQC gambles. Who are the other two that actually gamble out of these top five? Yeah, last night was really good, Vink. XQC is a dick. I, that's what I always hear. I always hear XQC is a fucking asshole. I've never really watched him, so I've got, I've got literally no skin in the game on that one. All right, let's do this. So currently, wow... No shit. This is a way bigger fucking category than I ever thought. Wow. Fucking wow. Oh my, this is how this is how out of the know I am. I had no idea. If they are English, I have no clue. Some forms of gambling are legitimately fun to watch, like poker tourneys, just because they involve some aspect. I agree, Sammy. I think poker poker does have skill to it. He is on stream, but outside of streaming, he drops the asshole shtick. Really, Sky? What is it about him when he streams that makes him an asshole, Sky? Twitch makes bank with that? That's why I'm like, I don't... To Vince's point he made earlier that they're losing money, I don't think they're necessarily losing money. That's a lot of viewers that are, like, pumping a lot of ad revenue into Twitch if they're getting ads. Not to mention, if they're actually subscribing to these people, giving them even... Like, I, I just... I, don't, I can't see him losing that much being this popular. On Twitch forever, he pretty much started it, Vink. Okay. Quietly ponders going into slots. Oh, no. I, I would never do it, Bay. No, I, I have literally no temptation. I would never want to grow my stream or my community through this, Ryogo. I've got literally no inclination. Um, I, en I enjoy the fact that we talk about real-world shit around here. I would never want to make my stream this. Imagine dealing with that many people talking shit. I mean, that's fair, Sky. That's very fair. Twitch is actually concerned about this. The real reason is probably going to be that it seems like a real solid way to engage in money laundering, for sure. You don't like watching loot box streamers. I had a huge problem with loot boxes and got you in the early days of MMO. Like, I spent way too much money in my late teens and early 20s on loot boxes. See, that's why, Ruby, with what a lot of people are saying, like, uh, a lot of big streamers right now talking about this issue are like, we got to get rid of gambling, blah, period. Does that mean we have to get rid of anyone who does loot box shit? Do we have to get rid of people doing any of the Pokemon card openings? Do we have to get rid of channel point uh, predictions, right? Do we have to do a lot of things? Because 
a lot of that, do I have to stop doing game key giveaways when we hit our sub goal or our tip goal? Because that's all technically gambling. Like, at where, where do we stop it? Like, what do we allow and what do we not allow? <clears throat> and that's why I think it's such a morass for Twitch. Because if Twitch takes away one form of something, there are going to be people that are going to be doing the whole what about. I, I, think that's, I think that that is a very... I think that's a very um, legitimate argument to make. Rostein is an affiliated or partner, so they are doing zero ad revenue. Okay, Vince, good to know. Good to know. Wow, he's neither partnered or affiliated? How in the fuck does he make money? Now I'm curious. <clears throat> Seeing this just reinforces my argument that the huge streamers have an issue with this category because people are spending their sub money here and not on them. <clears throat> Most can't get partnered hey, if you stream I'm slots. Gotcha, Vince. I would consider the giveaway raffles not necessarily gambling. I mean, I Wang at this point, I don't know, because again, you don't have to sub to get in on those giveaways, right? So maybe that's the case. I don't know. Those top two streams, you can't sub to. Okay. Okay. Good to know on that one, Vink. Uh, I like playing some poker and can even watch pros playing, but streaming slots is something I had no idea existed. Yeah, yeah, this it, it's big, right, Red Sea? It's kind of crazy. Wang, how you doing? <clears throat> Good to see you, Wang. Yeah, count. That's probably what it is then. Like these are that that instance that was brought up earlier about people who are sponsored. That's likely who these people are, right? Like these people are probably the ones that are getting money directly from the site to do this. He makes money by being paid by the casino and also codes people use for currency to gamble. There you go. Okay, Vink, there you go. Win without spending any money. That's not gambling. That's not entry fee for the giveaway. Yeah, exactly. Right, Wang? For sure. Twitch will make some symbolic, completely pointless move like taking away point gambas and leave the rest as it is. That You know, that's probably... <laughs> I could actually see Twitch doing that. All right, you guys spoke and we heard. We're going to get rid of gambling on Twitch. You can no longer do channel point predictions because that's a gateway into gambling. Were you just watching? Like, Vince, I'm curious. When you were used to watch him religiously... Was it because of, like, the content he provided, or was it just because of the slot thing? I'm curious, like, what was it? Was it before he started doing this? I like to watch him play. It's kind of a fascinating to watch, Vink. Okay. <laughs> you can provide the means to it. A lot of uh, those online gambling websites come out of Vegas, but you got to get a VPN and change your location to actually play. No shit, Sky. Okay. Look, there are people with gambling, gaming addictions. Should all of Twitch go? I mean, yeah, I mean, addiction is comes in so many forms, right? Wicked, we can talk about gambling addiction. We can talk about sex addiction. We can talk about <clears throat> gaming addiction. We can talk about so many different kinds of addiction. Addiction is just a thing, right? And addiction is something that should be dealt with. Um, banning certain things is likely never going to make any kind of addiction go anywhere until we actually care about the people that are going through those things, right? So I, uh, I, I, I'm I, with you on that one, Wicked. It's just an unfortunate fact that, you know, drug addiction, I mean, we all know it exists. And doing a blanket X on anything is probably not going to do much about the, uh, the addiction as it stands. So I guess I'm a bit biased. I'm an alcoholic, so when it comes to addiction stuff, I, and I'm that's fair though, right, Vince? Because you've been through it, and I think when people have been through addiction and got over their addiction, they're going to feel very strongly about it, and that's completely okay, because you, again, you just you went through something that's really fucking uh, hard. So not wanting to see other people go through that is. I think in my estimation, guys, and I could be wrong here, a completely valid response for anyone. So it does make a lot of sense when people feel very strongly on one side of it, especially when they've been through it. You think gambling on Twitch is terrible? Bring it around. I, I am completely and totally in the middle on it right now. Bring it. I have got, I've really got no feeling. Totally agnostic almost. More Terraria, Raven. Bikini change and 10 subs. Exactly, right, Vink? <laughs> Bikini change and another 15 subs chat. <clears throat> the idea of charging your audience to do something is quite different than you treat the audience as a whole. And some say people did pay. They are being deprived of the content too inertial. Okay. We like just chatting with OMS. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking fail, Claymore. 
Some people just want to make money, but you actually want a community. It's weird, Tretch, because I do feel like I towed the line sometimes. Because I, I do want to make money doing this because I love doing it. And I want to continue to do it as a job. But I also want people to... I do want people to feel like they're a part of something. I do want people to enjoy their time here. I want people to talk. Like, I enjoy having talks with you guys here or in the Discord or literally anywhere. I love getting into discussions with you guys. It's one of the things I enjoy the most about the platform. So... But again, would I be able to continue to do this if you guys weren't as generous as you are? Not in the capacity I do it right now, for sure. Like, I would definitely be getting another job and only doing this part-time like I did when I was bartending. Just a matter of fact. I'm going to tip Mom15 to slap some sense into you. That makes more sense, but the hostage thing isn't the same inertial. Something like holding your view as hostage is someone who is either just a terrible, greedy-ass person or someone with no longer really wants to stream... They're just doing it for the money, and they need to find a new career. I was told there'd be titties. <laughs> Big Meat, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. All these young minds exposed to this gambling on Twitch? Terrible, terrible. The oligarchs get richer. But, uh, I mean, I, I get what you're saying. Bring it around. I do, but you're going to find it anywhere. Like, whether, whether or not you want to admit that or not bring it around, um, unfortunately, you are going to be able to find gambling places. That's just a matter of fact. So that's why I'm pretty in the middle on it. Um, I get why people have strong feelings about it, and I understand those. Uh, I also understand why they want to see it gone, because the argument does make sense, because there are impressionable minds. <laughs> but uh, there are plenty of other places you can probably find that, too, realistically. If there was a $15 redeem for mom to smack OMS, it better have a long cooldown. <laughs> Gambler, you guys would be get making me get hit constantly. Can we get old man to cosplay as Ricky Lake? I would want to go for a more Mori Povich vibe vampire. I just want to make sure somebody at some juncture gets hit in the head with a chair. <laughs> oh, I'm not saying I'm not saying that you can find it strictly like uh, not even anywhere online. Bring it around, but you can be influenced by gambling in a lot of ways. I don't know what to tell you. Bring it around. Like, don't get mad at me. I'm just I'm looking at it from a different perspective. So I don't know what to tell you, man. I don't know what to tell you. People are going to get exposed to everything in their day-to-day -day life at some juncture or another. So, this is just another much easier way for it to happen. Sucks. Just a matter of fact. It's like people saying, uh, like, it's, it's, it comes, like, down to the same thing as, like, porn, right? Like, blah, everything should be X, no more porn, blah, blah, blah. Like, it's just not realistic. It's not going to happen. If you can constantly see people forking up money to get their stream going, some people are going to see it as something normal and not question it. That's actually fair, Bay. That, that's actually very fair. I think that's a really good point. Corn? It's corn if you're on TikTok, because you can't say porn on TikTok. You're not allowed. You're absolutely not allowed. A big lump with knobs. <laughs> Pointing to abolition of alcohol is a good point of trying to ban something like that. I, that's kind of where I'm at with it, uh, Mage. It, we as human beings are inclined to having like the dopamine rush come from somewhere. And if you're interested in it, you're going to seek it out and you're going to find it. Right? If you're interested in gambling, you're going to seek it out. You're going to find it somewhere. Uh, if you're interested in porn, you're going to seek it out. You're going to find it somewhere. If you're interested in booze, you're going to seek it out. You're going to find it somewhere. That's just how humans work. If you're interested in drugs, you're going to seek it out. You're going to find it somewhere. You may not like that, but that's actually the way that humans are. I don't think that that's a really huge logical leap. As much as I hate to say it. Again, is it pretty accessible here on Twitch? For sure. Should it be? I don't know. Regulation works better than prohibition. Someone explain this to the... Yeah, it does. Uh, I completely agree. Sex work, right? Regulate it. Don't, ab don't abolish it. The point isn't about seeking out. It's about being exposed to it. You're not going to be exposed to it unless you seek it out. <laughs> no one... You're not going to immediately get slapped in the face with gambling and slots bring it around by starting up Twitch. You actually have to, like, seek it. You have to look for it. Okay. I'll agree to disagree with you on that one. It's like saying I'm going to fire up Twitter and immediately get hit with nothing but porn. 
Sure. Sounds good. I'll uh, I'll let you believe that. That's that's fine. <clears throat> Get him out. I also agree gamblers should be banned. What's up, Retro? Good to see you, man. Good to see you. I didn't know there was gambling on Twitch because I didn't look into it. Right, Lily. That's why I'm... <laughs> That's why, for every person that's like, you get slapped in the face with it, like people like you, Lily. It's just like, eh. <laughs> it doesn't affect me because I've never seeked it out. So click the slots page. I'd never seen them before. Exactly, right, Self? That's why I'm like, whatever. Like, people are going to believe what they want to believe. That's fine. They, That's great. I've been streaming on Twitch for nearly four years. And I didn't know there was a gambling until today. I just, <laughs> But you're slapped in the face with it every time you open up the fucking app, clearly. Like, we've been we've been told that, so it must be true. It doesn't work. I tried to hit up with porn after booting up Twitter. Still doesn't happen. <laughs> You're going to have to really curate a timeline for that shit. Blood, what's going on? If you don't like X, so no one should be allowed to see do it. Blood, you and I see very eye to eye on that one. You see very eye to eye on that. Because I'm, I'm definitely in the, the same boat. So <laughs> There's a time and place for everything. You should find porn and gambling if you want. Just not in Twitch. I, and I, I genuinely pretty much agree with you on that one, Neon. I do. But again, are they going to get rid of it? Probably not. You know, they, they've showed that they're they're not going to regulate people who very, very much so have sexualized streams, right? So I can't really see them doing it with gambling either. This place feels like the Twilight Zone, unfollowed. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to care about that because I genuinely don't. <laughs> if you can't have... <laughs> Um, okay, bye. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> wow. All right. It's not an airport, man. We don't have to announce your departure. Hey, well, you know how people are on the internet. They got to let us know. I mean, if nothing else, their, uh, their, their feelings on the whole gambling thing is pretty much makes it feel like no shock that they had to announce the unfollow and buy. I just cool. Bunch of Twilight Zone honky mooks. Your world for who doesn't exactly, right? Blood God, that's the other problem as well. I don't like what you're saying and our ideals don't completely align with one another. I'm out. Clearly you're not going to have a good time here anyway because we talk about a lot of shit a lot of us don't agree eye to eye on. <laughs> I've been going over logic structures in my English class, and it's been interesting to see arguments recently due to it, Mar uh, Mage. I believe that. Yar, how you doing, by the way? Good to see you, Yar. Someone had to announce that they were gone because they were in the Twilight Zone because we don't all believe firmly that gambling absolutely has to be banned no matter fucking what. Five dollars! I would like to announce that I find this immoral and the chat to be deviant. Hashtag unfollowed shit that was the wrong button. <laughs> Cthulhu, thank you for the one year. I really appreciate it, Cthulhu, thank you. His point was that you just get slapped in the face by gambling whenever you visit Twitch. I mean, that that was what... Yeah, and I'm just like, it, uh, that's why I'm so shocked, Sylph. Like, if they, were, if they were trying to argue that it can be a damaging thing, I can go along with that. But saying that you get slapped in the face with gambling whenever you visit Twitch is a very, 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 like, uh, mm, I don't know about that. Pen, how are you? Good to see you, Pen. <laughs> Macro, what's up? Good to see you. Thanks for the two months, Mac. This is no way me condoning anything that OMS does. I didn't choose this life. Swamp, thank you very much for the 13. I appreciate it, man. When you say something I don't agree with OMS, I just go silent and halfway ignore the conversation, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that, newbie. I think that that's completely okay. Like, if you don't want to engage on the conversation and you just want to tune out, I get that as well. Like, uh, there's nothing wrong with that. I don't take that offensively at all. Sometimes you just don't want to get involved in it, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's socially acceptable to talk about controversy and have a civil argument, you feel? The fact that I had a civil argument is crazy. It's a good thing, Mage. You fool! Thank you very much for the 21 months, by the way, Inertial. I appreciate it, Inertial. Thank you. I don't think it even offers it in the front page unless you actually seek it out. See, that's that's what, that's what the argument I was making, Sky. Like, they were trying to say that you get smacked in the face with gambling as soon as you hit fucking Twitch. And I'm like, I... Mm -mm, I don't... Mm -mm, no. Others agreed with OMS. Twilight Zone unfollowed, outraged. Hashtag get the behind... <laughs> 
Get thee behind me, Satan. Sylph, I love it. Thank you very much again, Inertial. Zbaz, what's up, man? Depends on who you watch. If you watch someone who has done gambling streams, and there will recommend. I mean, that's fair, Zbaz. If you watch them, I have never watched a gambling stream, so I've never been hit in the face with it. So that sounds more like a if, a, and even then, you're going to have to seek someone out to watch them, right? I don't think I've ever known. For example, I'm just going to throw this one out there, Zbaz. As long as the mother of mutts has been on the platform, she's never been hit in the face with a gambling stream. I've never been hit in the face with it. So I'm just kind of like, I, I don't know. Like, I, your argument has value, Zbaz, but you still have to have some point in time seeked out someone who's actually streaming that, right? So you might get hit in the face with gambling, but you've already watched gambling before. So that makes sense because the algorithm is trying to satisfy what your uh, like appetites are. I'm sure most of us don't get slapped in the face with it because there's a history of what we watch for recommendations. But how about new people? Well, okay, so Bev, to your point, um, like I said, I've never, like, even when Mother of Mutts was brand new and watching the platform, she never had slot-like streams get smacked in her face. So I don't know. It, it's obviously a, a very interesting... We're, we're going really far down the rabbit hole on this one. But I do find it fascinating. I'm glad you guys are speaking about it, too. I think it's a good thing. Did a hold'em tuning like they four or five years ago. It was more popular than that. Never seen gambling anything, gambler. Okay. Only thing I get from this stream is getting hit in the face with balls. <laughs> yeah, see, Barbie, and I feel like that's a lot of people on the platform are like, wait, gambling's even a thing on the platform? If you're not into it, you can't even follow or know what's happening in the streams. Pop into XQC a bit just to see the shenanigans he's getting up to, so I've kind of seen some of this grow. It's not a super sudden thing for you, Jack, for sure. I've never been pointed to a gambling stream. I mostly get uh, pointed to crude bastards playing strategy games. <laughs> Guilty. It's better to be slapped in the face by titty streamers than slot machines. May raid into a channel that does gambling, but this is a bit of a reach. Yeah, there you go, newbie. I, I guess that's a good point. You know, maybe you could get exposed to gambling through a streamer you actually watch who doesn't gamble because they, they raid into somebody. I think that's a legitimate argument. <clears throat> Here's a not interested button you can click to remove such recommendations. Also true, right, Yar? I mean, if you're getting hit by that stuff, you can just be like, not interested. If you're interested, you're going to click. Incognito mode on Twitch. The top recommendation is Fortnite and just chatting. No shit, Tretch. I'm glad you actually did that. So if you go incognito mode on Twitch and you actually click, that's what you're going to get. <clears throat> My children clutches pearls like, dude, it's not everyone else's job to control your kids. I tend to agree with that as well, Blood God. It does take a village, but... <laughs> I'm going to play the game, corpse. I watch poker on Twitch sometimes, but slots would be tedious as fuck. See, I agree, Cthulhu. Even if I was going to watch any kind of gambling, I'd have to watch something like poker. Someone brought up the fact earlier that watching poker can be fun sometimes because you see a, an amount of strategy and, like, fainting with, like, people playing their hands and stuff like that. Um, watching, watching slot machines is just pressing a button and watching some things spin, right? Not really, nothing I've ever really felt interesting. It's been a fun... I hope you guys have had a good time talking because I've had a really fun time talking with you guys. It's been a very good conversation, in my opinion. Excellent, excellent start to the stream, though, today, guys. I had a really good time chatting with you guys. Uh, if you're brand new, I hope you had a really good time. If you unfollowed me because uh, I am not in lockstep with all of your ideals, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, welcome to the world. And uh, you enjoy any echo chamber that you choose to exist in. Have you heard about the new internet thing called IE Toss? Oh, God damn it. Really? Brr, I'm living in the twilight. I should have screen capped that shit and thrown it on fucking Twitter. <laughs> Thanks again for watching, everybody. Be sure to leave your comments below, like, and subscribe, and we'll definitely see you again soon. A huge shout out to my Patreons who continue to make this possible.